What's up, family? How you guys doing today? Adil here with Milky Tech, and today we'll be doing a requested video. How do I set up a PC? So I have a member that uh, requested me to do this. Recently, I purchased the Lenovo Legion 5, and I'm gonna show you how I set it up. If you guys haven't seen the unboxing, the link will be right over here. If you guys enjoy this kind of tutorial content, smash that subscribe button. Let's get this done. First thing that you wanna do is, of course, turn on the computer, and Cortana will stop talking, and I like to mute her at that point. And now you wanna select the region that you're in, of course, United States. Yes, we'll give a moment. It'll ask you what kind of keyboard layout you want. I just choose the US. And if you have any secondary keyboard layout, let's say if you know another language, um, you wanna type in, let's say, um, Arabic, you can do that. Me personally, I'm just gonna skip it. Now it's gonna ask you to connect to the internet. Now you have two options. If you connect to the internet, you will have to create a Microsoft account. But I personally don't wanna do that right now. So I just say I don't have internet, and then move on. It will tell you what the benefits of having it, but I'm just gonna continue to limit it setup. Accept your terms and agreements, and give it a name. I will call this Milky. It will ask you for a password, I just hit next. If you wanna connect different devices, you can at this point, I just say no. You want a digital assistant, I don't want Cortana's help. And I come over here, and I turn everything here off. The reason why I've turned everything here off is I don't want Microsoft to spy on me and send my information out to advertisers. So I turn everything off. I'm just gonna skip this part, move next. And now we wait. And now Windows is setting everything up for you, so this point I'm gonna speed forward. All right, so let's get into Windows updates. The first thing I like to do is update Windows. But before we update Windows, we have to log into the internet, and that's very simple. Either you connect your Ethernet uh, wire, or you just click on this little internet button down here, and then you just connect to your Wi-Fi. The land of milk and honey. And now we are connected. So now, let's go to Windows Update, click here, and now all the drivers wants to install. Well, that's okay. So, we go to Settings, and then we click on Update and Security. And as you can see, there are a whole bunch of updates. Let's start downloading. While we are waiting for Windows to complete its updates, uh, some of the things that I like to change is, of course, the time. As you can see here, it is um, the wrong time. You just right-click here, click on Adjust Date and Time, and you can tell to set uh, time zone automatically. Or, instead of clicking set time zone automatically, you can just do it yourself. Since I am in the Eastern time board in Atlanta, we'll just go to minus 5 Eastern US and Canada. And it automatically corrects the time. And now the restart fest begins. And now we just keep on repeating the process. We check for update, install, restart, check for update, install, restart, until there are no more updates. Now that we have Windows Update complete, it's time to remove all the bloatware that comes with a laptop. Now, there are several ways to um, do this. The first way is the nuclear option. Basically what you do here is you go into your options, go into update and security, uh, click on recovery, and reset the PC. This will basically reinstall Windows and you'll start with a fresh copy. It's not something that I want to do because that's, then you have to reinstall all the drivers and everything. So the next option is to either you uninstall each program individually or you install an app like Revo Uninstall. To get Revo Uninstaller, you just go to Google, type it in, and it's the first one. You click on it, looks like they have a sale, uh, click on free downloads, and free download, and just install it. Now that we have it installed, let's launch the uninstaller. And Revo Uninstall is pretty awesome. It gives you all the software that are installed, and it will remove also any of the 
leftover folders or registry keys. So let's say, let's get rid of this annoying little pesk called McAfee. It doesn't look like it. You know, you can make a recovery point if you want. I'll say no. It's going to uninstall. And you just remove everything. Continue. For security, I like to use just the built-in uh, security that Windows has. I find it to be sufficient for what I do. I mean, I'm not going to any crazy websites or anything, so it, it's more than enough for me. I'll do the restart later, and that will do all the analyzing to remove of any extra thing that's left over. I'll scan it really quick. You select all. The next way to do it is by going to Windows Settings and clicking on Apps. And this will give you everything that is installed, including all the Microsoft Store apps. Or, what I like to do, I know people say Control Panel is dead, but no, it's not. You just have to search it and it pops right up. And what I like to do is right click and pin it to my start. So if I need it, it's right there. So then you just got to uninstall and just do things the old fashioned way. All right, so the next thing I'd like to do is remove that uh, pesky pop-up that pops up every time you want to install a software. Go to user account, user accounts, and then change user account control settings. I just put to never notify, hit okay, and then move on with life. Next thing we want to go to is uh, Windows PowerShell. We're going to run it as administrator. And now we want to type in some code. And this code will be in the description below. And now it is removing everything. That is Windows bloatware. All right, now it's complete. Close it out. Open this up. And as you can see, it cleared up a lot of it. Now we still got a few uh, stragglers. So you just right click uninstall. And as you can see, it is now nice and clean. Not that many softwares left. Now you don't have to do that option. I'm pretty sure I'm going to regret it because now I have to download the calculator. But that's okay. And now we need a VPN. A VPN is a virtual private network. What a VPN does, it makes your connection private and allows you to browse the internet anonymously. VPNs, what they do is they establish a secure and encrypted connection and that provides a very high level of privacy. My VPN choice is PIA, Private Internet Access. Use the link below for an awesome offer. Using my link below will give you a discount of 77%. Two free months, so that totals up to $2.69 a month. And then you have two free months. And now let's install some softwares. And the website that we want to go to is Ninite.com. Ninite is an awesome website. It is basically a one-stop shop for all your free softwares. And it's always the most up-to-date ones. You just come down here and you just pick the type of media that you like that you use all the time. For me, the web browser I use, I use Chrome. I like LibreOffice. I like TeamViewer. You know, here's Reaver uninstalled. So if you wanted to get it from here, you could. You could have. Let's see what else. Um, Discord. I stay away from all of these guys. You know, maybe Malware Bytes if you want that. Um, if you were into coding and stuff, you know, just. Just picking you know, what you like. I use WinRAR. And you know, people say I should try 7-Zip. So why not? Let's give that a shot. We need VLC. Uh, so I need that Audacity. K-Lite Codex. CCCP. So this way we are covered from everywhere. We can watch almost any type of media. I do use Dropbox. Steam. I would install it by myself. Since all these will go to the default C directory. And I want Steam to be in our D drive. So uh, then we just get your Ninite. And run. And now it's just installing all the softwares. Alright, so now let's install our latest graphic card drivers. Let's go to NVIDIA. GeForce drivers. And let's just do the automatic update. We'll figure it out on its own. All right, now that we have GeForce Experience installed, we just go to Drivers and tell it to check for drivers and download drivers. Now that the drivers are done uh, downloading, I like to do a custom installation. And this way I get to remove the old uh, drivers. This way you won't have any kind of issues where you know, there won't be a, kind of a conflict issue. 
where you know sometimes you might switch to all drivers and you know game crashes or something of that assortment and so what i do is i'll just click perform a clean installation this way it will wipe everything by doing this will cause you to restart i like to do this for the first time when i install the drivers and then afterwards i don't really do it maybe once in a while but uh yeah it's been installed now that we have our drivers installed for our graphic card next place you want to go to is the lenovo website and go to their support and download the updated drivers from there and it will auto detect the uh, computer all right so we have some drivers that need to be updated so i'm just going to select all of them and just update those drivers now that we have our you know, basic applications installed and our updates done Let's do some personalization. So let's just go right click, go to personalize. Let's change the background. I like Windows dark mode. Just turn on dark mode for uh, everything. Ah, much better. And I just let it automatically pick the accent based on the background. Next thing you want to do, you want to make sure that your display is running at the optimal settings. So you go to display settings. It's a 1080p display, so we're at 1080p. And you want to make sure that your uh, refresh rate is set to the correct refresh rate. So just go to advanced. Let's check the adapters go to monitor and as you can see this is 144 hertz monitor and we are at 144 hertz sometimes other monitors will let you choose lower refresh rates but uh this one isn't and now we want to install all our game launchers because of course after a hard days of work you know we want to do some little gaming so of course we gotta do steam click on install steam all right Let's download that of course we want origin not O-Ring, Origin, we download that, get Epic Games, that's going to download, and if you want a game launcher that will encompass all game launchers, we want Play Night, and what's nice about this, this will uh, allow you to log into all of your uh, different game launchers like Steam, GOG, Epic, Origin, and have everything under one easy to use launcher instead of having to um, log in multiple times. Now that we got our game launchers installed, here are some other applications that I like to keep on the computer. I like to install CPU-Z. If you have like a specific motherboard and you wanna match it to your uh, logos, you can download it here, but I'm just gonna download the regular one. Next thing I like to install is hardware monitor, which is also part of the Cupid software. Hardware monitor allows you to um, monitor all of your temperatures in your computer and then we should get msi afterburner msi afterburner allows us to keep up with the stats of our gpu now we'll work on a laptop that would be interesting so let's uh test that the last setting i want to change is i want to turn on battery saver so just go to the search here type in battery saver settings i'll pop up here as you can see here it's already selected but if this is not selected, you want to turn it on. If the battery levels go below 20%, all our background apps will be shut down to save you power and give you just a little bit extra more life. And that's how I set up my computers. Now, if I forgot a software that you guys like to install, leave it in the comments below. If you have any kind of suggestions or any other kind of settings that you would have changed, also leave it in the comments below you guys make sure to stay tuned for the review of this laptop if you guys enjoy this kind of content smash that like button hit subscribe hit that notification so you get notified when i release my next video uh, if you guys have any other comments suggestions or want to say hello leave it in the comments below and i'll see you guys next time peace